we're just going to go with the basic setup of a drum kit. As you can see here, we have quite a big setup, but this isn't the usual setup for a drum kit. This is just stuff I'm like around the studio because it's fun. So off, we will go over the few cymbals first. These are your hi hats. These are usually ba used in all your basic stuff, really. They can be opened or closed. This is your crash cymbal, just for making loud noises and emphasizing beats and stuff. And over here, we've got your ride cymbals. Well, we usually only have one, but we've got more for this. That's for riding menus and jazz pieces. For the basic setup, we've got your snare drum, your high tom, also some, for some people use your first tom, your low tom, also known as your second tom, and your floor tom. And the snare drum is the most commonly used one. They use it mainly, and it's usually used for fills, but they can be used for funky grooves if you want. Also with ours, we've got an extra secondary snare drum over here, just for a bit of fun to play with. Extra floor tom. An extra ride cymbal, two extra crack cymbals, and a spark cymbal. We also have a cowbell here, which is used for funking around, and yeah, this is your basic setup. And of course, your bass drum down here, where we also have a double kick pedal. It's a lot of fun as well. This is just your setup of drum kit that we have. We know we've got a bit of a tutorial coming up, and most of this is just all your basic setup. So, yeah, we're just going to do some jamming now in the kit. It's a bit of fun to muck around. basic rudiments we're going to learn about single and double stroke rolls. So firstly single stroke roll sounds something like this. It's like a normal marching roll. So that gets lots, lots faster. So like that. And so um, you use this in some uh, basic grooves as well. So. So that's that, and your double stroke rolls is just right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, so. So that's all of that. And um, so, and you use your rebounds as well on your double stroke rolls, so it makes it sound nice and fluent, and it sounds pretty cool. So, so if you start um, nice and slow, That's a double stroke roll. We're just going to show you some basic ways of holding your sticks. And we'll start with the most basic rock groove setup. For this one, you mainly just hold between your thumb and forefinger, and you're just holding with that. The other three fingers off just for support and also help control the stick movement where it goes so you can bounce it around a bit. Another way to use, you hold your thumbs on top, but this way you'll probably use for jazz or something else or classical playing because you cannot get as much wrist movement and you don't really need that that much and as you do for rock music with that you get more wrist movement also there's the classic hold it's one like this it's a bit old so we just use it for the old snare drum playing we prefer to use it this way lots of wrist movement lots of fast movements good fun you can also spin it as you can see different fingers you can even do two at once and yeah Different ways to hold your sticks. We're just going to go over a few grooves and fills. Grooves are the repeated beat over and over again. They're used to keep the beat going during the song. Also, the fill is when, during a gap say between the verse and the chorus, you'll put a fill in to keep things going and then move into a different groove. The basic rock grooves is as follows. And then, say if I did that for three bars and then did a bar of fills, it could sound something like this. Yeah, I did something you probably wouldn't learn straight away. So the basic feel you'd be learning straight away is just a simple roll like this. And you can just do it on, say, all these times, then just hit a crash to start the next thing, so. As you get better, you can start speeding things up, so you might go from a groove like this. And then just do the same feel I just did then, except fast as I 
it also just mixes up around with the feels like you can just hit the drums randomly. But you sort of want them to keep it sounding good. So you can go random, hit hard, but it's too hard to try and keep it going with the general gist of the song. So I'll just do something fun, you know, just a simple semi wave group I could say, and then just put a fill in, and then it'll all get harder and harder as I go. with yourself if you ever end up playing drums. Uh, now we're going to learn about paradiddles, which is a basic groovement. Um, you use your hands to do a pattern, so you have to accent the first beat, so it goes right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. So for you youngins out there, it goes a little, a little something like this. Right, so we're going to make this faster, and it should sound pretty cool. So. Doing it in the field. So that was that was your um, paradiddle. Just getting one stick to hit off the other, but in close succession, like this. You can do it with left, oh, I'm not sure if it's left or right, but I'm pretty sure this was right. Left stick hits first, right stick right after it, and your left. Right stick hits first, left stick straight after it. You can put them into single stroke rolls like Adam was doing before, so like something like this. You also put them into basic things, just like you might be going around in a big rock group, like. <laughs> you got a lot of fun stuff and like that. Now with the triplets, this is just your anything grouped in the group that you can do crosses grouped in three, quavers grouped in the three, or even semi quavers. With um. Triplets as well, you can put them into flames as well. So you can put them together. 
What sort of triplets you can do? Funky feel like. Or you can even do grooves like. And if you want to get really funky, you can do stuff with the right as well like. And then if, when you get bad, you can get fast like this. Ready? And. basic triplets and your flames.